So after having a dust problem, I decided to build a um, paint booth to clean out some of the dust because the job was coming out looking so perfect, man. It just inspired me to just go ahead and try to get it all the way perfect. So you're going to need some PVC pipe. I went with a $1.69, the thinnest kind they had at Home Depot, which should be sufficient if you make, because we make going to make a cube out of this. You're going to need to buy 12 of them. Okay, you'll get 10 in the bundle, you buy 10 and get cheaper, buy the extra two, you'll have 12. You want to take one stick with a marker to mark for the height of your vehicle. So you want it a little bit taller. If you're going to do vehicles in the future, you want it as tall as you expect to be doing. Uh, as far as um, the width of the vehicle, you do the same thing with the second stick. You bring the two sticks back. You need four sticks for the width, four sticks for the height. So you're going to want to cut four sticks to the height of your vehicle or whatever height you desire. And then you're going to use another four sticks for the width of the vehicle. Uh, so you're going, to, you're going to either cut those or use them at full length. I'm using mine at full length. I expect most vehicles going to need full length, uh, if not longer. Home Depot got the best stuff on this. Now they got these. These are what you're going to need. You're going to need eight of these. Okay. But when you get these, one of them, as you can see, got this thread in it. All right, but that ain't a problem because what we're going to do is we're going to take the drill and we're going to drill that out so that there is no um, thread in there. So then you will have your, the proper three way to build this cube. These are 38 centipedes or 98 centipedes. I ain't a hundred percent, but uh, you, you're going to want to get these to complete the cube. I'll show you the next step, which is this uh, fix it. This Home Depot fix it three way adapter. You see how I had to file it down uh, in the one connection, you know, for to get past the threaded tie they got in there. I'm gonna try to clean some of that off. Um, I'm gonna show you how I did that. Okay, you just take one of these, all right, three fourths. Okay, stick it down in there, like so, you know, uh, hold it with something and be really careful, you can get hurt doing this stuff, uh, hold it in between your feet or something like that is what I would do, so, boom, drill it out, you have to <laughs> drill that thing out pretty good, and once you can get the holes in there a little bit, you can take a hammer or something and just tap it down, that's only for the one threaded connection, make this threaded connection be for your tall poles. This way, when you want to take it back down, I expect that this is going to be pretty hard to get this one connection back out. But you want your height to be the strongest. So, when you take it apart, this will be the one that you always leave on. The rest of your setup, you can take apart anytime. You see, so you only got to tap them in there one time. So, make sure that it's the height bar. I'm going to cut the pipe down to the right size. I'm leaving mine a little bit higher because I might actually use this more than once. It could even work as a little miniature garage. You know, like if you want to keep your car put away during rain or snow, it's actually a pretty efficient way. I would think of building a miniature garage for your car. You know, if you get a good tarp and wrap a good tarp around this, this, this should be pretty good with some maybe a couple bricks attached to it for weight. And you can have yourself your, your own little miniature take down and put up garage. So uh, it's worth the investment, you know, if you want to spend a little bit more and get a thicker grade pipe. All right. So we're going to get this thing built up, the paint booth. 26 bucks total just my vent fan you know i just used a fan i had in the house you know there's some buckling going on here so i wish i would have got like a y clamp to hold that in better but i guess it's you know it is sucking it right now i ain't put the other vent in on this side so it's pulling it right now it's crazy how tight that is you know you want to tape I did it to tape all of the sides across the top here and then the top one more side from the one you throw over second and you tape all of those off all right so and with the filter on the inside on the front of the fan and then I'm gonna put the filter up here in this left corner here and yeah 
so twenty six dollars is what it costed me to build this thing it's pretty tall too you know i can make it stronger anytime you know cut it in the middle throw a t-clamp and then you can uh add another pipe down the middle and that should make it perfect if you wanted it that strong but this is good enough to do the job so you see i already got it sanded down i'm gonna go ahead and paint it pretty soon i'm letting the air out right now so i'll let you guys see how the work turned out oh yeah i just used the floor my sony brought me a tv that i, I barely even got to use yet you know because as you know it sue screwed me destroyed my motherboard thanks to sue right, so here we are in my completed project i'm getting ready to spray in a minute that's my uh top air filter okay that's my fan filter and i got a little you know i got a twin fan in there it's actually pretty powerful the little thing and this is gonna be my exit point you know like what you do is don't use the plastic you know kind of put layers of tape so that you can cut the tape and then when you get on the outside it's easier to restick tape than it is to restick it to this plastic you know to close it all the way kind of leave you yourself some room to make like a miniature cut open doorway that you can cut open go out tape back up that worked the best and uh it hold pretty stable as you can see you know with those cheap pipes 26 bucks uh i made the cardboard floor just placing the air filters up here with a piece of tape and then after you tape it up on the outside first you cut that one out you know based off the inside no way I'm saying that wrong you put it on the outside you tape it to the outside you come back on the inside and you cut it out but you only cut it out big enough for the for the second one on the inside to fit and that's the most effective way I found for air filters that way you get double air filters on the out so nothing don't come in through here Okay, so in case you're wondering if how my idea worked and how it turned out, you know, for 26 bucks, I just wanted to show you right now I got uh, the vacuum taped into the tent and the fan on the outside. And you can see how the suction is so intense that it's uh, bringing it down some. Now, in this situation, this would be one of the reasons for why uh, a little bit stronger gray the pvc might be better but if you're just trying to paint it on a budget it works you know i mean uh considering the amount of suction it should pull uh loose debris in the air at least out uh or exhaust it through here and uh over here what i did is i just taped off the filter for the moment and right before i'm about to paint I'm going to release this vent first so they can take its first breath of fresh air filtered and then I'll be able to go in through my hose to start the paint. And um, yeah, so, so far it worked pretty well. I took the screen off and you can kind of see it start to grow again. So now it's starting to pull air into the bubble. Hopefully clean air.